When you're working with measure of center, there are some specific things you need to know. Remember that mean is the average. And so if you're asked to find the mean of some number, you add up all the numbers and then divide by how many numbers you had. In this case, we're given the mean and we're told that there are five numbers, but we need to work backwards. So we create a sample of five numbers that has a mean of 7.6. The only requirement is that your data set may not all consist of the same number. So we could have two numbers that are the same, but they can't all be 7.6. If you have five spaces for numbers, and you are to add them all up, and then you are dividing you are to divide all those numbers by 5, which is the number of entries you have. That would equal 7.6. Now if you think about multiplication as repeated addition, then 7.6 added up 5 times and then divided by 5 would give you 7.6. So let's see what we're working with. If I want to know how much value total all 5 of these numbers would have, I would take 7.6 and multiply it by 5. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 3 is 38. One decimal place. So I have 38. Now if I want my mean, my average, to be 7.6, I have to find some combination of numbers that will add up to 38, so when I divide by 5, I get 7.6. So let's just start with 8. Well, now I'm at 30. So let's say I put 6 in there. Well, if I have 38 and I subtract 8, that gives me 30. Then, if I subtract 6, that 6 that I just put up here, that gives me 24. So I need to somehow break up 24 into three more pieces so that when I add these all together, I get 38, and then when I divide by 5, I get 7.6. So let's see, I could pick 4, and then I could pick 10 and 10. That would give me an option. This is not the only option there is. I could easily have broken this into different ones. I could have said instead of 4, 10, and 10, I could have said, well, 24 is 8, and then 9, and 7. Let's double check that. 7 plus 9 is 16, and then we add 8 is 24. So I could have easily replaced 4, 10, and 10 with 7, 8, and 9. So as you can see, there are multiple different ways, quite honestly a lot of different ways, to get 7.6 as my average. Now the other restriction is that you can't repeat the same number over and over and over again, because that would have been easy. I would just have put 7.6 in every placeholder here, but that's not going to work. The restriction is at least one pair of the numbers must not be equal. At least one pair of the numbers must not be equal. Okay, so I could have up to three repeated numbers, but two of them, a pair, one pair, cannot match. I hope you found this helpful.